Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicoleta and I'm a no-code developer and UX UI designer and consultant. In this video, I'm going to discuss the topic between choosing Wix or Wix Studio in particular or WordPress. What prompted this video was a um, recent negotiation and pitching for changing up the project scope. For example, the client wanted to do a, just a simple redesign in the WordPress environment and just to update the team and basically implement new uh, strategies and pages on the WordPress website. But when it came to the actual re execution of the redesign, it ended up that the designer or the developer per se that created the website and worked on it as a SEO specialist didn't want to do any redesign changes but rather suggested complete redoing of the whole website and that got me thinking what would be the reason and I went in the back end and I saw how many unupdated uh, plugins and templates there were available at that time so it came to mind that maybe it's a better option even to transfer the whole website to another platform, much more secure and much more user friendly, which in my opinion is Wix Studio. So why would I recommend to someone that I don't know as a client to use Wix Studio rather than uh, WordPress? First of all, I already had a bad experience with a previous client who had a legacy website built in WordPress. And from that experience, I learned a lot about WordPress and its user experience as a developer and designer. And in my opinion, it's too complicated and it's too risky to have a website on that platform. Yes, it's open source. Yes, you can choose from multiple templates. Yes, you can build a huge and big and nice website, but it requires a lot of dedication, learning curve and constant, constant maintenance. So when they compare to Wix Studio where you pay for a plan and you get a full updated maintained website with the team that you choose by your preference, you get the security of your website not being hacked because that obviously happens with WordPress websites and that's the experience that all the website owners that I have known shared with me. And with Wix Studio I never, or Wix, I never heard about any website being hacked so far, knock on wood. And in terms of security, I definitely prefer a Wix Studio in this regard. Now let's talk about the user experience. In my opinion, the user experience on Wix Studio and Wix in particular is much better because it's right there. What, what you see is what you get. Basically, it's visually orientated and it's drag and drop easy peasy there is no hidden um, settings or code or anything everything is quite visible and you can easily check what you need to change so in this regard the user experience on wix studio is much better than the one on wordpress because all dependencies and design elements and development elements are in one place and you can usually easily search for them in a any search bar that the wix platform uh, presents and you can find the things in an organized, cohesive and understandable way for the users. And as a designer and developer, I don't code, so I find it much easier to find my way in Wix rather than in WordPress. And also the third parties, the apps in the marketplace that Wix has is much more easy to implement and use and work with than the one that WordPress presents and offers because the plugins have to be updated manually or automatically on WordPress. And in terms of updating, sometimes it happens, just I'm going to quote the client's words, I'm scared that if I turn on the automatic update, my website will broke. That's what most WordPress owners feel like whenever they have to update a team, a plugin or something else. So in my opinion, Yes, it's free and it's open source, but the stress that you get to maintain it and the, the support that you need to hire around the website that is built in WordPress outweighs the positive of the whole platform and the idea behind it. So in my opinion, Wix is better. So now let's talk about what Wix has that WordPress doesn't have, or I am not aware that has it. For instance, Wix Studio has an AI powered design assistant which means that you can generate images and text for your 
products easily and much faster rather than typing everything or searching for everything yourself. So that's a nice feature that it still needs improvement, but it's out there and you can test it out and see how it can benefit your business. Wix Studio also has integrated marketing tools that can help you prolong and extend your business like emails, social media posts and more. If you're not a designer yourself, you can also ask for the Wix Assistant to create a website based on your input and you can have a generated website just by typing some details about your business and you get the presented version of the possible website that you might want. As I mentioned earlier, you can also use another apps that are in the Wix marketplace and you can also find developers that create Wix apps for specific needs. Now, in terms of security, Wix Studio provides automatic updates on everything included and needed for your website to function properly. Wix also follows industry best practices to protect you from common online threats. Another thing that I personally like about Wix is mobile friendliness and the responsiveness of the website. Because now in the Wix Studio version, the third, the, the finest version of Wix, you can actually add additional breakpoints to the desktop, mobile and app breakpoint. So you can make your design even more fluid when you change the uh, width and height of your uh, website. Another thing that I really like is the SEO checklist that helps you see how your SEO score performs based on the changes that you have recently made. And it really helps you integrate your whole website on Google and gives you tips and advices how to improve your SEO optimization and readability on Google. Now, as a bonus answers to maybe potential client questions, I have prepared a list of questions that we already role-played with another colleague that is a full-stack developer. And I'm going to ask them and answer them for you. What does Wix have to do with the design or redesign in terms of the project that I mentioned earlier? Well, Wix is a website platform that helps designers and non-designers to create fast and easy their websites on the principle of drag and drop without requiring very high knowledge of design principles and development. Is it going to be more expensive than continuing using WordPress? In terms of investment, the first initial investment is that you can stay on a free plan and have your domain name having the Wix extension or buy a basic plan which is currently $12 a month which ends up to be $144 a year and have your website hosted on uh, Wix. In terms of templates, you can choose a free template or buy a new template. So the investment there is that you buy the hosting of your website on the platform and using the platform cap capabilities. So that's the only initial investment that you have to have before you create your website on Wix. But in terms of security and user experience, in my opinion, it's a great affordable investment for someone who wants to test out a business idea or just wants to start something quickly. How easy I can make future changes and how flexible is the platform? Wix is extremely easy and flexible in terms of changes and you can always Google or find your needed support in forums or groups or even when you ask a designer like me, how can I do this? It's very intuitive and you can find the answers easily online. You can always check out Wix uh, webinars and tutorials on how to create easier and faster designs. Can I make changes myself? Absolutely. As a website owner, you can make the changes yourself if you have some technical knowledge or a web design or web development knowledge. It's very easy and you can change anything you want on the website as a website owner. How unique is going to be my website? as much as you want it to be. So in terms of how unique your website can be in Wix, depends on what kind of input you put in terms of design decisions and also are you hiring someone to do it for you as a specialist or are you going to do it yourself? So it solely depends on the efforts. Does Wix support localization? Yes, you can have multiple versions in different languages of your own website directly on Wix. Is there a separate package for starter businesses? Yes, as I mentioned, there is a basic package and other four or three types of packages that you can choose from and compare the different functionalities that your website can have. Can I try it for free? Of course you can. I'm also using Wix for free at the moment because I'm developing a template for Wix Studio that you can check out in the link in the description. 
Can I sell my products and services there? Of course, you can sell products and services on Wix depending on how you create the website layout for your website. You can have also a members area where the content will be guarded by password and login credentials for your members only. Another question that my uh, colleague asked me, have I heard of Webflow? Of course, my own website is hosted, hosted on Webflow and I'm using it for my own personal portfolio and you can check it down in the description. If I decide to stop using Wix, how easy is to migrate? Well, for search decisions, you, it's easily just to uh, look up some questions on the topic and find the steps how to migrate easily. Is it possible Wix to ban my website? That was question related to having a crypto or sensitive information related website. In my opinion, whenever you use the website and create a website for your business without interfering with the general rules and you don't do any fraudulent actions through your website, everything should be fine. So make sure you check their terms and conditions and make sure that your website is not, in, not doing anything illegal and everything should be fine. What about the customer support? Well, I haven't had any problems with customer support so far, maybe because I'm so like independent and looking for the answers myself and always find them through forums and Googling. But as far as I know, depending on your plan, you get really good support from Wix and they always reply to their emails. So I don't think there will be a reason not to, except if the answers is already there and you haven't just looked for it. And they might encourage you to first read the article with the frequently asked questions and then maybe submit a request or something like that. So I always encourage my clients to either ask me or just search for the solution themselves before they actually reach out to support because the answers in most of the time are out there. Can I install plugins or widgets by myself? Of course, they're all in the marketplace on Wix and you can install them yourself and choose which one to pause, delete, remove, update and whatever. Can I build apps for Wix? Yes, if you're a developer, now they have extended the program where you can actually create apps for Wix and sell them as you, the owner or developer of the apps on their marketplace and earn some income. And if you're a developer, you can actually create apps for Wix and sell them on their marketplace. So go check it out. I will leave a link in the description with this news. And final question, will my website look and work as well as on the new platform? Yes, if done correctly, your website should work perfectly normal and of course the checking of the analytics is quite important because in order to find what works and what not you have to check the back end and the prompts and notifications that Wix sends you in terms of your statuses in related to your website domains and etc and last but not least why i personally opt for no code solution rather than code solution as my colleague also suggested and reminded me he says the code is fragile and multiple mistakes are possible related to the code. So I also support that uh, statement and I think that if can be done easier, why not? So if you like this video, make sure to leave a like and comment below what was your most important and useful insight that you heard in this video. If you have any suggestions for future videos, make sure to leave them in the comments below and subscribe for more videos. See you in the next one. Bye bye. If you have any suggestions for future videos, if you have any suggestions, if you have any suggestions for future, future.